Despite being an independent nation, this country uses the US dollar as its official currency. Hello, welcome to Opentiera. Today we're exploring the Federated States of Micronesia, a sovereign island nation in the Western Pacific Ocean. Join us and stay to the end to delve deeper into history, geography, and warm hospitality that define this Pacific gem. The Federated States of Micronesia is an island nation located in the Western Pacific Ocean. It consists of over 600 islands spread across the Caroline Islands archipelago. The islands are divided into four states, Yap, Chuk, Pohnpei, and Kosrai. Micronesia is located north of the equator in Oceania. It spans over 1 million square miles of the Pacific Ocean east of the Philippines and south of Guam. The four states spread across about 2,500 miles from west to east. The capital city of Palikir is located on the island of Pohnpei. Micronesia sits on the Ring of Fire and is prone to earthquakes and volcanic activity. The islands of Micronesia experience a tropical marine climate year-round. Temperatures average around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, with little seasonal variation. The climate is hot and very humid. Rainfall is significant, especially during the summer monsoon season. The islands face threats from tropical cyclones, especially during the wet season, from July to October. The islands of Micronesia consist of small atolls built from coral reefs and larger volcanic islands with rugged interiors. The maximum elevation is 2,141 feet on Pohnpei. Surrounding the islands are coral reefs and lagoons, rich in marine life. The islands have some fertile soils near streams and valleys, but limited land for agriculture. Coastlines are prone to erosion. The Federated States of Micronesia consists of over 600 islands in the Pacific Ocean. Its population is over 114,000 people, according to World Bank data. The majority of Micronesians belong to the Micronesian ethnic group, traced to Austronesian origins. The islands were settled thousands of years ago by seafaring peoples from Southeast Asia and Polynesia. Each state has slight cultural differences. Other ethnic groups include Americans, Filipinos, Chinese, and Australians. English is the official language and the language of government and education. However, each state has its own languages that showcase the island's origins. Yapese and Kosrayan come from Chukich stock, while Pohnpeian and Chukese reflect nuclear Micronesian ancestry. Remaining dialects include Ngatikese, Kapingamarangi, Nukuoro, and Pingelapese. The majority of Micronesians follow Christianity brought by missionaries in the 19th century. The faith merged with traditional animistic beliefs. The Roman Catholic Church dominates in Chuk and Yap. Protestants make up most Pohnpeans and Kosreans. Remnants of spirit worship involving magic and ancestor veneration remain. Respect for customs and community continues to influence society. Drawing from Pacific, Asian and Western traditions, Micronesian food makes use of local fruits, vegetables, seafood and spices. Here are some iconic Micronesian dishes. A popular Chukisi dish this curry features chicken cooked in a sauce of coconut milk and spices like turmeric, ginger, and curry powder. Vegetables like onion, chili pepper, tomato, and cabbage add flavor. It's served over rice or breadfruit. From Pohnpei, this baked chicken dish combines soy sauce, lemon juice, pepper, coconut milk, and local spices. Stuffing the chicken with onions, chili pepper, and lime adds extra zing. It's a Micronesian take on baked chicken. This chukesi snack is made from pulverized young coconut layered with brown sugar. 
and left to ferment for a few days. The sweet sour result is sliced and eaten like fudge with a distinct fruity tang. It lasts without refrigeration. The islands of Micronesia have been inhabited for thousands of years, but the formal history begins with European contact in the 16th century. The first settlers of the islands were ancient voyagers from Southeast Asia and Polynesia. The diverse island communities developed in relative isolation. Traditions of sailing, fishing and taro cultivation evolved. Systems of chiefs and local power structures arose. Life revolved around clan and community. The first encounter with Europeans came in 1521, when Ferdinand Magellan reached the Marianas. Spain claimed the islands, but did not establish control. Trade and colonization brought outside disease and conflict. Germany, Britain, Japan, and the USA eventually held positions in Micronesia before World War II. The strategic islands became a key battleground during Duyuyo. After Japan seized the islands, the US retook control in fierce fighting. The bombings and battles left many islands damaged. However, the US helped rebuild after the war and continued administration. In 1979, the Federated States of Micronesia emerged from the US Trust Territory of the Pacific. A compact of free association granted independence while allowing US defense provisions. The young nation modernized but kept its island heritage alive through traditional governance and practices. The island's remote setting could not protect them from the sweep of history. But despite the influences of outside rule, the people of Micronesia maintain an identity linked to their seafaring ancestors and island way of life. This provides a foundation as the nation sails into the future. The Federated States of Micronesia has a small developing island economy. Its GDP is around $424 million, according to World Bank data. Located far from major markets, its economic progress has been tied to aid and external programs. The economy relies heavily on fishing, subsistence agriculture, and government spending. While lacking in resources, Fishing brings in crucial export earnings. Subsistence farming of taro, yams, coconuts, breadfruit, and fishing provides for local needs. Compact aid from the US funds around half the national budget. Micronesia faces major hurdles to economic growth, including remoteness, lack of resources, pollution, and climate change. It must import food, fuel, and manufactured goods, Natural disasters can easily set back progress. Unemployment is high at around 30%, but tourism, education and infrastructure promise to expand future opportunities. Due to its former ties with the US, Micronesia maintains special economic and defense relationships with America. The Compact Agreement provides US aid in return for military access. It also has increasing trade and investment partnerships with its nearest neighbors, Australia, Japan, China, and the Philippines. The islands of Micronesia possess a rich artistic heritage that conveys the history and culture of its people. From decorative crafts to oral storytelling, Micronesian art and literature reveal the spirit of island life. Micronesians have long crafted functional objects like canoes, mats and fishing nets, as well as decorative items. Intricately woven bags and clothing employ complex designs. Wood carving creates bowls, masks and statues depicting ancestors. These handicrafts exhibit superb artistry. Contemporary Micronesian writers and poets give voice to island identity and post-colonial experiences. Works blend native tongues and English to share unique perspectives shaped by the islands. Themes of the sea, loss and hope, 
persist through the generations. If you enjoyed this video on Micronesia, you'll love this next one.